Here's a quick example of how to type um, uh, the second fundamental theorem of calculus um, with these uh, upper and lower limits. Um, yeah, just as a quick exercise. So for example, let me start from the beginning. Uh, to call out the equation environment, uh, we have videos on uh, how to do this via a shortcut. So I'll do a command uh, equal equal, that'll bring up my equation environment. To do the integral sign, we do the classic slash int. Um, and now we want a lower bound a, so we do underscore. You see word automatically will compile the integral sign. So we do um, underscore a and then caret b like that. Uh, I could put a space in between, but uh, I like to do it afterwards. And if I put space now, uh, it automatically creates this integral environment. Then I'll type fx. Um, notice also if I do space now, the little brackets, the round brackets, would um, slightly adjust um, to become one item. Right? So if I navigate through here, you see uh, it automatically groups the x, um, the uh, arguments of the function inside, um, which is which is a nice feature. Um, now I usually put a space uh, dx. Now notice this is grayed out part. If I move my cursor around over here uh, with my arrow keys. Um, this is grayed out because um, this is one environment inside the, the integral. So uh, don't just put um, don't, don't just put equal like this because it uh, although uh, if I navigate out of it it's, it doesn't look too bad but um, just a small uh, uh, little um, uh, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> so um, to, to avoid that if you see it's still grayed inside uh, sh uh, then use your right arrow key to just navigate one step out of it before you do the equal sign and um, go with the antiderivative of f. I'll use capital F here to do the lower bound a and upper bound. So we use, um, let me go back one step, um, I do shift um, and above this uh, slash symbol um, we have this absolute value sign, right? And we do the same underscore a and caret b. As soon as you press um, spacebar, uh, this will uh, compile this. Um, this is one one representation of it, one way to, to write it. Um, of course, we can do square brackets. Um, uh, I If you do open square bracket, close bracket and space, uh, it automatically generates an environment where I usually just navigate back into of course, I can type that more linearly. Let me try that again. I could just type this, um, but kind of, uh, yeah, that will also work. Um, but I kind of like to like to just uh, create the environment and navigate back one step. Um, personal preference, either way will work. Now we can do underscore a uh, upper caret b. Um, yeah, both both would work. I believe uh, this, so this is a response to a question from one of uh, the commenters. Um, uh, but hopefully this helps. Um, if uh, if this is applied to let's say uh, proper um, uh, proper integral, I'm just gonna make this up as I go. Uh, let's say x squared dx. Okay. Um, so navigate one step right. Equal. Um, maybe we can do um, a, a open bracket. Oops. Open brackets. Uh, x cube over three and close square brackets. Notice um, as we close it, it doesn't really expand until you hit one more time the space bar. Uh, there's the square brackets would automatically adjust. And we can do this. Um, I think I should substitute in my numbers, my boundaries. And uh, we can continue with this um, and plug in four to the power of three divided by three and minus um, one. If I want to show all my steps very explicitly and clearly. And uh, yeah, that could, uh, if I can do this properly in my head. Okay, hopefully that's right. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, these are some tricks and examples of how this can be typed. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave more comments below. Um, I hopefully will get to them in time. Thanks for watching.